Good evening traders it's Samurai Trader here recapping the NQ 133 tick chart uh, once again doesn't matter which market you trade whether it be uh, futures stocks Forex all of these setups work in any market where we have volatility and what I'm the chart I'm about to run through and the market I'm about to run through what's applicable to any market that there is is when the market is sideways you're going to be chopped up now a lot of traders ask me as I coach them or why did I get into coaching traders well there's a saying that you'll hear me say on a regular basis he who teaches learns twice and my trading results have gone through the roof uh, I think the biggest reason is I'm all of a sudden held accountable as a trader and as a coach that is because I'm executing trades uh, in virtually in front of virtually every student that I have real-time trades and it makes me lift my standards and and I think this is a, a really important thing I want to get today's session underway with is a question I want you to really ask yourself is this if you're not succeeding as a trader you need to ask yourself why and I just quickly put together this slide just be before I got this session underway and and as it says here let me ask you a question what are the two most important actions you could undertake that would dramatically improve your trading what are they they are is it no longer counter trend trading is it no longer moving your stop is it trend trading only trading with the trend you see what I've discovered is when I'm with either uh, institutional traders or with private traders and they're, they're not achieving their goals it is usually because of their level of standards when it comes to trading that is greatness is a choice greatness in life is a choice greatness as a trader is a choice if you're not achieving the results that you want to be achieving lift your standards that is hold yourself accountability that is hold yourself accountable now let's have a look at and today I want to really focus on trading with the trend because if you trade with the trend and stick with the t1s and the t2s stay out of a sideways market which we'll have a look at and we'll explore what constitutes a sideways market you will succeed as a trader but to truly succeed you need to have a, a trading diary every single trade that you take I want you to jot down in your diary and I have dozens of them um, uh, that is manuals that I have of every trade that I take and comments and notes from every trading day and in this trading diary I, I want you to write down the trade you took the time you took it the market uh, uh, the entry signal your exit and any personal feelings you may have had good bad or ugly it allows you to go back and to review your trading day on a daily basis if you start to undertake these sorts of things I can guarantee you you are going to um, dramatically improve as a trader dramatically so let me just remove an indicator here and I'm going to simply take off the uh, trigger line as well right now so let me just remove the alligator okay and let's have a look now at the chart so um, oh I'm sorry just to finalize there the big thing is here lift your standards now remember for 2015 we're only just into the new year remember that your habits are going to control your trading results so let's have a look at trend trading today now as we know the cyan line here is our 89 EMA the 89 is like a magnet and you'll see 89 bounces uh, every single day in fact you could trade the 89 bounces on their own what I also have on the chart is what I call my t1 the super scalper in trade station it plots automatically for me and when I have a super scalper or the paint bar plot in the direction of the 89 that gives me 99% of the cases a very very clear entry signal now I have a trading plan where nearly all of my setups are probably um, what I'd call probably 90 to 95 90 to 95% mechanically in nature or rules based where the human intervention comes in is are there any news announcements or am I in chop am I in a sideways market so let's have a look at these so starting on the left here uh, I've just taken from uh, the market open and remembering 
from the market open a lot of these trades move that quickly and for my students you know I don't like to trade the first hour of the market because generally speaking it's moving very very quickly and uh, and I use the ES as an indication and um, because you get much less volume of course on the NQ uh, why do I trade the NQ because I love the volatility and uh, I just tend to find that it, it's it's just fantastic but you need to be quick that is I'm using market orders because unless the market's very very slow you're going to miss the trade so have a look here we've got here a t1 with a, a an 89 EMA bounce but in fact my entry wasn't till here why is that remember with the Z lag I want the Z lag when I'm going short to be turning magenta I want to see the magenta color that's just an additional filter that I use so we can see I bounced off if your stop was up here of course you're mighty fine however rules the rules stick to your rules and you'll become a much better trader so this is a, a lovely this is about 10 ticks uh, I'm after 11 ticks which is $55 I'm on generally seeking at least $200 net so what I'm really after is four 11 tick trades a day now generally on the NQs as we'll go through here you'll get 40 or 50 signals at least on a good day on a slower day you might get 25 30 so to achieve two to four net trades is um, uh, is basically 19 out of 20 days probably on average you'd achieve that so quickly uh, we'll run out of time otherwise we've got an 89 bounce here I've got another one my entry was not until this candle here once again 11 ticks now we had a very very nice double top it's what I call a t7 now I love t7s uh, in the direction of a trend now you can see here we've been trending down have a very very nice double top my platinum is falling and you're in and you've also got of course confirmation with the magenta now down here I don't have a paint bar that is I don't have a t1 and this is what we call a t2 signal now it's just after and if you notice here the black line here is the long-term stochastic and it's in a downtrend uh, this is borderline t10 and a t2 it is it's a cross between really a money on the floor and a, and a slingshot now a slingshot is where the long-term stochastic is oversold or overbought here where of course we can see what uh, we're oversold and uh, we come up we roll over and away we go now we have another trade signal traders called the t25 which is a pullback of two to five candles so you could have got in here or there but that was a very very nice 11 to 20 tick trade as well and you actually had another one here as well uh, t25 or a slingshot now notice how I'm still oversold we pull up and that sling slot sing, let me give it right slingshot uh, in the direction of the trend down the bottom here I don't want to talk too much about counter trend trades but you can see here I've got two um, uh, two t1 signals counter trend trade I turn here I turn cyan so for my counter trend traders you've got a beautiful trade there now paint bar here why wouldn't you have taken that to the short side well look at my zero lake it's in a very definite uptrend however you do have one here and for the traders that are trading now you can see here actually only uh, 25 minutes into the market here and many traders would have taken this one here and been stopped out even though um, when we turned here magenta uh, but the 21's turning up but still a lot of traders would have been caught here but here we've got a rising long-term stoke a pull down and you've got a, a t10 to a t2 again these are all rules based mechanical entries if you noticed okay so we're all pulling back thank you very much now remember your stop here is two ticks below your low up here okay it would be uh, this is what you call a t89 whoops and I promised I wouldn't talk to you about counter trend trades today but now I've mentioned a t89 is where you've moved well out of a channel and you've got a gap of zero lag and your entry uh, is outside the channel very high probability trades and you had one right there but what I wanted to mention here is notice how our 89 EMA is sideways here traders and I started to write to type in their patience I'll just remove that for now but stand aside and wait and this is the greatest and probably the most important rule for traders is 
you know if you consider the skill set of a sniper and of course the movie the American sniper has just come out and huge raid reviews and I recommend if you see the movie the patience a sniper has to have I've got to lay there for hours and really if I really look at my best traders is patience is a virtue they are patient they are disciplined they are quick in many ways they're, they're ruthless that's what makes a great sniper and that is what makes a great trader so here you really should have been standing aside not taking trades not that there was many in this area here by the way um, uh, but the point is here when you see your 89 and also not only that is I want to mention here a pivot an 89 right on a pivot this is a real danger area here so where you get those sit on your hands and wait remember you're only after two to four trades a day to financial independence two to four trades a day and you become very very wealthy if you go back and have a look at some of my earlier videos you'll see where I talk about achieving just $100 a day per contract on $20,000 uh, with a stop of 2.8 percent you're uh, trading eight contracts on a hundred dollars a day that's eight hundred dollars a day that's that's four thousand dollars a week and as your account builds you add extra contracts well what I actually recommend the first thing you want to do is to get your risk factor down to 1% and I should just clarify that where I'm talking about a risk factor of 2.8 that's extreme really what you're after is comfort level which is 1% but getting back to here now look at these two t1s look at these paint bars bang winner 89 bounce winner winner here stopped okay here you would have been stopped on that trade uh, here you entry was not till here but a winner you had a t2 a winner a paint bar a winner now that there was 11 ticks and just look at this another winner now what's happening over here traders is once again we're hitting this congestion now notice this what can you see the 89 is sideways but what else have we got we're right on the pivot so we yourself chopping around on the pivot yes I know there's some great skilled pivot traders but I'm really talking to traders here that want to be very mechanical and lower their risk stay with the trend traders stick with the trend the trend is your friend till it ends so traders as a quick recap greatness is a choice as a trader really you know I'm your success partner my job as your trading coach is to really assist you and talk to you about lifting your trading standards and becoming a sniper becoming patient